This is the blue marble, which was originally created by NASA. What we like to do is display things like the Earth. And we can display anything on the Earth. Hi, I'm Dr. Sandy McDonald, and we're here at the Earth System Research Laboratory, a part of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration located in Boulder, Colorado. I'm standing in front of Science on a Sphere. This is something that I invented for the purposes of science and education. A little bit about how it works. It's simply four projectors around a spherical projection screen. The first spherical projection screen that was ever used this way. You're looking at a system developed by NOAA called Science on a Sphere. Science on a Sphere is a display system designed to make Earth and other planetary sciences more accessible and understandable to the public, particularly to school students. Global environmental data can be better understood when it's converted to images and then shown on Earth's native format. On a sphere, visualizations of environmental processes and relationships provide an appreciation of the connections between the oceans, atmosphere, and land. Science on a Sphere has no moving parts, but instead uses computers to project animated images onto the surface of a large sphere. Now let's get started on a short series of scientific visualizations. Well, no, see, that's something that we I've never seen before them do and it's kind of funny because we've always complained and a lot of people have complained that they've never done this sort of sweep with their camera um, and I think it's yeah, funny that they're now doing it for the, as far as I've seen the first time yeah notice well, the air stops rotating they won't go 360 degrees which is the complaint I have which is keep going to the right now keep going you don't need to show me the globe keep going to the right and show me what's behind you of course they won't do that yeah, because it would just be more right. horizon behind them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they're even up there. Oh, well, look at this. Now, this Earth's going to go away, so we're going to be... Oh, I thought we were going to be in space all by ourselves. 360? No way. No stars. Oh, well, it's because the uh, lens speed, John. I can't... It's a weird camera. Yeah. can't get the lens speed right right now. <laughs> Yeah, or the or, or the shutter opening or anything like that. Or, you know, that's crazy. And also notice, I don't know if you guys noticed, but during the pan, the Earth stopped rotating. Well, keep it here because <laughs> now we've got no Earth. We just saw it rotate too high out of view. So how is it going to come back? I don't know. They got to be listening to us. <laughs> this right. looks like a. I'm sorry, but this looks like a rendering to me. Just the way that it's such a chop like frame rate. I don't know. I mean, I know the frame rate gets kind of bad sometimes, but this just looks like a, CG, a, a 3D rendering to me. Oh my god, they're going for the 360. Oh, that makes it, sense. And now, if the Earth's on the sun and they're doing a 360 back, then how is the station so brightly lit? Oh my god, what? What? How did that happen? How did that happen? How did that happen? How did that happen? Now the Earth is upside down. Rotating the other direction. All right, you spatial geniuses, how did this happen? We're doing a horizontal pan, and the Earth went vertical. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. Oh, God, I feel so honored. I can't believe that they're doing this. <laughs> Thank you. But it's, it's still the same old, same old, though, because they're not they're not giving you a full-on thing is a very very good little trick photography but yeah it doesn't work for me it looks like they wrote yeah, fu the... right there too yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm waiting to see sex roll by in the clouds <laughs> <laughs> i think they just whipped the ue in space oh that's insane that's pretty good doing doing that at seventeen thousand miles an hour but I still want to know how they did that, that horizontal pan and, and completely inverted the earth.